based on my work and my research, I define authenticity as the consistent practice of choosing to know who you are, to embrace who you are and be who you are as much as possible. But what does that actually really mean? What it means is that, first of all, the act of being who we are and revealing who we are at our core as much as possible, it's a practice and it's a journey. It's something that we do minute to minute, moment to moment, person to person. We do this even though we fear that judgment and bias is going to come our way which it will, but even in the face of that, we still say courageously, I'm still gonna do me and put me out into the world because when I do this, I feel best about myself. But in order to make this happen, in order to live an authentic life or live in alignment with what I call the authenticity principle, which is the title of my book, but more importantly, it's a way of life, is that we work on knowing who we are. So if I were to say to someone like, who are you? What would you say? Advice that people give us all the time, be yourself. So we hear the advice, be yourself all the time, but that actually is meaningless when we know that first of all, judgment and bias is coming our way, which is what causes so many of us to push down our identities, push down who we are, tied back, for example, to our gender identity, our race, ethno culture, our sexual orientation, our personality, our hobbies, our pastimes, our political beliefs and more. It's about how, despite the fear of judgment and bias coming our way, can we stand in our power? Can we feel good in our own skin? Can we embrace who we are and then reveal that to people in a vulnerable way without feeling shame? And in fact, feeling really good about who we are. And so that's what authenticity really is about. It's about despite feeling fear and judgment, we courageously reveal who we are at our core as much as possible.